Aang's mandate to me when we started the project was to enable us to shoot any shot that you would shoot in an action genre movie, which is a pretty tall order, especially for a native 3D camera rig. Look what we created. We worked very closely with Airy Rental and with Stereotech to really reduce the size of the rig, reduce the weight of the cameras, enable the, those kinds of shots where we're tearing down the street in Cartagena on an electric motorcycle with a 3D rig on it in full quality as opposed to, you know, smaller, less lower quality cameras, doing steady cam, doing handheld, doing these really dynamic shots with small jib arms and things like that that really sell action in a, a genre movie like that. When we started discussion with Ari on finding something that would suit us and work for the movie, we explored a number of options. We had some very strict sort of requirements. We needed something that was very small and very light, but still shot very raw at 120 frames per second. So that really limited our options. And we asked Ari Rental if there was anything they could do for us. We really felt like 2.8K wasn't quite enough to get us the up res to 4K that Aang was looking for. And they came back to us with this idea that we could sort of invent SXT Alexa M. We nicknamed the uh, Ang Lee M. And you know, in Austria, sort of Frankenstein together nine cameras for us that we ended up using to shoot the movie. When we were prepping, one of the difficult processes with shooting native photography is we want to get optics that are as high quality as possible, but that match in both eyes. We have very, very tight specifications for how the optics need to match. And so Airy Rental was very, very helpful in helping us acquire from all over North America and in cases even further than North America, sets and sets and sets of lenses for us to test. We had eight or 10 sets of like uh, Summa Luxes and Summa Crons. There was literally an entire test lane full of lenses that we needed two weeks to go through. Dion Beebe was a great collaborator with us. Going into a project like this, there's so much of it that it's not necessarily driven by the technology, but is definitely affected by the technology. Dion works very much the same as Ang in that they both don't have a lot of preconceived notions or biases going into the process. They both just sit in the theater and they look at the images and they let the images tell them what they need to do rather than trying to mandate a certain process or a certain piece of equipment. When they say, I like this and this, or give me more of this, then I can propose solutions to them. You know, we were doing a movie with a global scope. We started in Savannah, and then we went to Colombia, and then we went to Budapest, and we went to Belgium. When you're doing a movie like that with this sort of bleeding edge technology, you want to know that you're supported. You, you don't want to have to stop because a piece of equipment isn't working correctly. And that's where, you know, the global reach of area and area rental was really, really helpful because, you know, in Savannah, we had an office in Atlanta. In Columbia, when we went there, Ari sent a technician to be with us full time to just make sure that everything was OK and everything was working as it should. We're in Budapest, there was an office in Budapest. That kind of support, people just being ready to support the filmmakers and the production and the studio gives everybody this comfort level where we can just explore, we can do what we want. We don't have to worry about any sort of issue.